All right, what's going on, guys? It's better by the day. Get a little bit better each and every single day. Um, yeah, you guys know the deal, bro. We talk about a little something, and then we move into the workout, and then there's an after-workout talk as well. But the thing that I want to talk about today is, um, dude, just gassing each other up at the gym. So, like, over, like, I don't know, for a while now, like, I'm, I'm in pretty decent shape. I'm pretty strong. Like, people will come up to me at the gym and, like, gas me up. And, like, still to this day, it fires me up so much. But especially, bro, like, when I was starting out, and like when I first started to like see a little bit of progress, a little bit of gains and someone came up to me at the gym and gave me a compliment, bro. It made my week. It made my month. I like I still remember some of them to this day, dude. I literally I literally remember I was on a back machine and I was I was doing some one arm stuff and I slammed the weight, bro. And some guy came up to me to tell me to like not slam the weight. But he, he said something like. He's like, big fella, like, you're big enough to, like, not slam the weight. Like, be careful. Even little things like that, bro. Like, the guy was telling me not to do something. I was doing something wrong. But just because of the way he said it, it fired me up so much. So the thing that I, I want to tell you guys today is, is, bro, like, if people pay you those compliments, dude, that's one of the best parts about the gym is they can make you feel great. But the thing that's so important about it is you need to do it too, dude. Just like a little thing, like, bro, like someone like hitting like a big lift and you just giving them a thumbs up. Like I've had that happen to me too. I've done that to other people. Even that means the world. And yeah, over the weekend, bro, when I was hitting my deadlift, I had a guy come up to me and tell me like, wow, like, bro, like, like you're pretty lean to move that much, like blah, blah, like whatever it was. And just like stuff like that, bro. Just so great. And once it starts happening to you, you kind of understand what to say to others, but just like anything, dude, like even if someone's like, wow, dude, you're so shredded or wow, you're so big, like whatever like spectrum you think they're like closer to, it just, it makes the whole experience, bro. It makes everyone happy. And it's one of the best parts about the gym. So I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to share that little piece of advice with you guys. And I hope you guys can use it. I'll see you at the workout. All right. So starting off with some bent rows, um, I actually kind of like this angle. It makes me look like my back, my, I have pretty good form here and I hit this for a set of 20, which is, dude, I, I don't know, a crazy PR. So I feel like form might be compromised a little bit at the end, but I was pretty bent here the whole entire time. I definitely felt a good squeeze and I do just incredibly happy with this. Um, I feel like not long ago, bro, I was barely getting 10 for a rose on 225. So I mean, that's just pushing, getting better, feeling, feeling good about that. And then here moved into some close grip, uh, to some close grip rows and dude i will say like i've been doing these and i like these i feel a good squeeze but one of my favorite lifts ever was doing this with the barbell and bending over putting plates on and then doing drop sets and all that but it started to mess with my back a little bit so i've been doing it here and i think that this is a good um a good substitute but i just want to say man if you like a lift and it feels good you know there's so many ways to do it and you got to do the things you enjoy and then this wasn't a very good set of pull-ups and the again dude a horrendous camera angle got to work on that but i thought i'd include it anyways just because you know pull-ups are something that are i'm trying to do more and trying to get better at um so i'm leaving them in here but this wasn't a very good pull-up day for me i was already pretty exhausted at this point i've been working pretty hard um and then here, one arm rows with the 120s. Um, this is the heaviest dumbbell in this gym, so I'm just going to try and do um, a set of these for as many set reps as I can. And um, this is a set of 10 each side. Felt pretty good. Um, I don't know, man. I, I do like these. I usually feel like I'm around 8, and these felt fine. I, I felt like I, this was pretty solid, and I'm definitely happy with this. But um, yeah, so that was pretty much um, all of the back. I mean, I did some other exercises, but you guys know. I don't necessarily include everything then rolled in here um, some 135 curls um, you know obviously swinging a little bit really pushing really pushing it to the end so um, yeah I mean just how it goes and then here this is the stack I think I do this for like a set of 15 and like I said the other day on triceps I think I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start adding weight to the stack but again didn't include obviously not the whole workout just some highlights man i really hope you guys can enjoy find some motivation from this and it was a solid workout today all right guys post cardio here's a little check it was a back day um yeah man felt pretty good i mean that looks that actually looks pretty good also i'm pretty happy with that but uh yeah guys i just wanted to get on here and say something today because i was thinking about it bro for me the weights are no problem. The weights are never going to be a problem for me, bro. I've gotten to the point where I, I absolutely love it, dude. No matter what's going on in my life, I'm going to find time for it. Um, you know, it's hard to speak on weight in the future, but it's my number one hobby, man. If like, if there's ever between that and something that's not family or friends or urgent, I'm going to choose that. But the thing I wanted to say is, bro, 
I do not like cardio. I can't stand cardio. And sometimes I just feel so discouraged. But I was thinking about this today because I ran like two and a half miles. And I just, I started thinking about how far I've come, bro. Like I remember it was a huge deal for me when I finally hit 0.5 miles, when I could run that straight without taking a break. Now, like learning how to pace myself and just getting some better cardio. I just think about how far I've come in the journey instead of how far there's left to go in my overall grand scheme of everything. And you just got to be so happy with, you got to be so happy with what you've already accomplished. And you got to be proud of that because it's, it's special, man. Like be proud of yourself, dude. It's something perfect or it's not perfect, but it's something good. And you've done that and you've changed that. So dude, I just, I wanted to get on here and say, dude, stop thinking about how far to go and start being proud of how far you've come. It really is, it really is night and day difference when you think about it. So keep pushing guys, keep working and I'll do my best to stay here and help. Let's go.